All right, y'all. I actually got the green light to start working out from my physical therapist. So don't mind the fit, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about minimal spring summer trends. As you may know, in sunny California, it is hella hot. Sometimes we want to dress stylish, so we end up sacrificing practicality, but that's not the case this time around. So here are five minimal spring summer trends that keep you stylish without giving up practicality and sweating your ass off. Now the first trend I will be talking about is flowiness. I'm talking about baggier fits giving a more relaxed style. But implementing flowiness as in like a longer shirt into your wardrobe. I'm talking about the Daniel Simmons shirt. Super flowy, it's pretty slim. It isn't super tight, it isn't super baggy. It's just perfect. Another brand that is implementing much more flowiness into their shirts is Uniqlo. As you may know, I actually got one of their shirts. So that is another example. And the reason why I really love this trend is because of the amount of breathing room as a guy. You know, for me, whenever I'm wearing a shirt that isn't sweat proof, I guess you can say, I hate the feeling of the shirt sticking to my back. Well, if you get a flowy shirt like this, whether it is a button down shirt or a much more silhouette focused shirt, it allows you to to breathe a little, especially for your upper body. Now, the second trend um, is kind of debatable, but I, I think you guys will find it valuable, especially if you are a shorter guy, but that is Western style clothing. I love this style primarily because it really, really works well, especially for a shorter guy. And the brands that are implementing Western style clothing are, you know, Wales Bonner, Double RL, Dry Van Noten, and so much more. Being a shorter guy, I had to give credit where it's due. Big shout out to Jordan O'Brien for putting me on uh, the Wrangler Ranchers. Guys, it's literally the best pants ever, especially for a shorter guy. I feel like for flared pants, they fit perfectly for shorter guys, primarily because it tends to be a little bit high-waisted and the flaring of the pants actually accentuates your legs, giving you that taller look into any of your outfits. And the one fact that I love about Wrangler Ranchers is that since it's a little bit more dressier, it allows you to be a little bit more on the formal side. And I just really, really love the way they look, especially with the modern day chunky shoes. Now for the overall look guys, I think the regular denim shirts are fine, but for me, the ones that I'm actually looking at are, you know, the big style changes like pants or even westernized boots. And I absolutely love the printed dress shirts. Those are sick. Now the next trend has been popping off lately, and I know it may seem a little bit less masculine, but stick with me here. I'm talking about see-through clothing. Now I love this because it's very, very bold. And obviously the practicality side of it is, you know, you get more air into your body, right? But confidence has to be oozing when you wear this type of clothing. I don't like the heat, therefore, I personally want to be as cool as possible. So for me, I love some mesh or sheer or lace material shirts that allow you to be cooler, but not bold enough or crazy enough to the point, you know, where you start seeing your overall like upper body. Some mesh shirts that I'm actually referring to are, you know, maybe button ups. I know there's a lot of paisley mesh printed uh, cam collars. Those are popping off as well. Some brands that I have been looking into are obviously our legacy. They have wonderful see-through clothes at a higher price. I think there's also a brand here in the Bay Area called Enter Nostalgia. Um, they have like a nice printed dress shirt. And guys, there's just so much more. Look into the mesh trend. All right guys, and the next trend are track pants. As you may know, I love wearing sweats. I love being comfortable. I always love being practical. And this is something close to sweats and your boy is all for it. I'm talking about brands like 
Ami Paris, Kididas, Wales Bonner, Casablanca. I also think I've seen one that was actually released by Porter James as well. This trend allows you to be a little bit more fashion forward and be comfortable at the same time. And lastly guys is none other than shorts. I'm talking about five to seven inch shorts. Call it a day. I'm talking about brands like Dran Van Noten, Prada, Jacquemus, and most importantly, Baudet. I know a lot of people like baggier shorts and to me that's fine. But for me as a shorter guy, I feel like what really makes my body look longer is being able to show more leg, which is pretty funny to say, but I don't know. It's just, I feel like my fits look better if I have like five to seven inch shorts. And now for trend wise, I don't think there's anything too catchy about shorts other than, you know, the um says, you know, they're super breathable. I like Baudet just because of the much more lighter material. It's customizable. I love that brand. And anything that will allow you to have a lot more breathing room down there. And with that guys, I know your boy's kind of late to the spring summer trends, but what are some trends you guys are looking forward to? What are some trends you guys are looking to implement? Let me know in the comments below. Your boy's out and we gotta beat traffic. So please like, comment, subscribe. Your boy's out. See you soon.